Hello, my lovelies. So, my QVC order came in. Ah, it's not how I expected it to arrive, but I'm cool with it. So, it's these four nail polishes, and then you have the pink gel and the favorite top coat. Okay, so the favorite top coat is a high gloss finish, seals color, fast drying. Then you have the pink gel coat, which I was dying to try. Let's open them now because when I ordered the last set, it was like $21. They, one of them didn't open. Okay, so this opens. So like even if you buy something and you don't use it, just make sure that it works, that it opens, that it's sealed. This one opens. I'm so excited. And now, okay. These four colors are so pretty. I'm going to put one on each nail. I'm going to do that for all my nails. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go like this. And then this one, no, I think like this. And then the, the two ends are going to be red. Crazy lady. I'm, I'm, I'm out there just you didn't know. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to open. Let's open all of them before I even try it on. I couldn't open the other one. Seven people tried to open the last bottle. I, I just returned it today. I just dropped it off at the post office. Seven people. And then we tried pliers and it didn't open. I was like, why would you seal something so tightly that no one can open it? And it was one of the four, but it's okay because I wanted to return it anyway, so God was good. So let's do the red. And the pinky. We're going to do one hand and then I'll do the other one off camera. That's one coat. And mind you, I do have some clear nail polish on top. I'm, I'm just going over it. It doesn't seem red. It seems like a magenta. That doesn't look the same, right? Not even close. And then we'll go with, and I think on the other hand, I'll switch the colors. Oh, too much product came out. So it's like a thick amount of color. This one is interesting because this one is, oh, I like this one. I love this color. This color is opaque and thick. And this one is like clear and almost, it's weird. It's a very different formulation. And then the colors, just so you know, in case you're wondering, they don't even tell you. Is it on the bottom? No. Oh. It's called Bordeaux Chenille. This one that I'm trying on now is Lady Luck. And then the pink one is Fresh Pink. So now I'm going to try on the middle finger. Yeah, I think I like the thicker formula better. You only need one coat with the thicker ones and then the pink that's interesting the Bordeaux is not my favorite but let's see if when I do a second coat if it actually looks a little bit more like the original see and then the pink one is again like the Bordeaux it's like almost sheer interesting I really like the middle ones, the middle two. All right, so now it's getting a little closer to the Bordeaux color with the second coat. But still, it's like a sheer glossy sheen versus like these thicker, even though they're glossy, it's almost like a matte. You see how different it is? Mm. So I'm not a fan of the Bordeaux. I, I don't know if I want it. I might have to see how it looks on my whole hand. It looks okay on the pinky, but I mean, I've never been a red girl anyway. And if I do red, I want a red, red or a burgundy. And this is like somewhere in the middle. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway for this one. Um, if anybody wants it, put it in the comment section and in two, well, when we get to the next level of subscribers, if a lot of people say they wanted this, I'm going to give it to them. And I think I might do the same thing with the pink. I'm not sure. Let's do another coat.
I mean, the Bordeaux seems nice on the pinky. It just doesn't look nice on the other one. I don't know. Mm. Mm. These two are nice. All you needed is one coat. You do two coats, you're good. And even then, you could see. It's a little wonky, but again, I have another nail polish on underneath. That's clear, but still. Let me try the Bordeaux on the other hand. On like a few nails. I'm doing like a thick coat. I still don't like it. No. It looks better on the pinky. Let me just do it on all of them. Except for two. This is what it looks like. I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. Not for me. I feel like this color would look really nice on very dark skin. And it could pop on fair skin. I just, I'm not... I don't like it on me. I don't know why. I just don't. And then the other two fingers, we're going to do the other two colors. Because that, I don't even know if I'm going to keep the pink one, to be honest with you. I might just give away the pink and the red because I'm not in love with these colors. I don't like the formulation. And it's interesting because according to them, they make nail polish for all of these big for some of the big names in nail polish. So I'm keeping this one. So I don't see why this formula wouldn't be perfect. Maybe I should shake it, shake it up. Give me one second, you guys. I'm just putting the last. So I do like the two middle ones. I like these two. I think they look beautiful on my skin. They're very simple. The color pops. I like it. Now let's try it again. One more coat of the Bordeaux. You know what? Hold on. Shake it up. Let me move the stick around to get it shaken and bacon. And I did super thick. Let me do the other side too. I did super thick coat because I don't like the thin coat. And let's see if this super thick coat Super thick coat makes it look better, but again, I still just, I don't even like the color. For me, I mean, you guys, these are pretty colors. They might work for you. I put a thicker coat on these two. So this is what it looks like. I'm taking all these off right now. I love these two. I'm keeping those. I don't love this one. I don't love these two. I feel like this is going to be better on a very fair skin person. Very, very fair. It's going to look really nice. And the red one's going to look good on everybody because red looks good on everybody. I just particularly don't like it. Um, on me. I have better reds. I do. But these two colors are awesome. I got to do one more coat. Let's see what it looks like with one more coat on both sides. I don't think you even need two coats, to be honest with you, but let's just see. And if you like my reviews, that they are in-depth, I'm not just going to sit there and be like, oh, it's so pretty. No. <laughs> I review a product. And then I have a blog that is going to be launching on January 1st of 2024, where I give you the long-term usage so you can come back and check and watch the blog and it'll tell you how it lasted 
after I used it, um, if I kept it, if I gave it away, you know, what, if there were any issues with it, did it dry up, like whatever issues that could possibly happen will be in the blog, more in depth. All right, so if you're thinking about buying it, If those colors work for you and you're okay with this color payoff, go crazy. This was 30 something dollars. Now, to be fair, right? This these are the 0.6 ounce ones. I'm going to take my nail polish off cuz I'm not keeping these on. I do love this one. I think I might actually put this one on this week. But I want to put on fake nails first cuz I'm doing a test for someone else that give me sent me some nails for free. It's Jofay, J-O-F-A-Y on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and you look up Jofay, J-O-F-A-Y, I love, I mean, repeat, love the matte colored ones. They last forever. They do not break. Every other Timu nails, Kiss nails, they all break on me. But the Jofay nails have never broken on me. The, the matte ones, the clear ones, yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, like not the clear ones, but the jelly ones, the ones that are like gel. Hold on one second as I get this part. Shake it up. I'm falling. Dollar Tree. I mean, I just put whatever nail polish remover in there now, but I just like the, I had to get this from the Dollar Tree just so that you could press down. I love that feature. And then I refill it with whatever nail polish remover I buy. Now let's see how it, how it removes. You thought we were done? Very, it stains for sure, the red. It's, which is funny because the color payoff is not that great, but it's gonna, it's gonna stick around. Oh, it's in there like swimwear. It gets stuck everywhere. Hold on. Let me bring my little mini table over. I'm going to put this on the table. Finish this. This is not an advertisement. It's just my favorite sparkling beverage. I'm very foolish. Okay, so let's do this. This one came off a little bit easier, but it still gets stuck there on the sides. I want to try the perfect pink in front of you guys because that's why I bought the set in the first place. So if you guys don't know that perfect pink, um, is basically it turns your nails into like a supposedly like a French manicure. It brightens up the nails. So if you have yellow toned nails, it brightens it up and almost makes it white makes it appear like almost white. Uh, and a lot of people really like that. These came off so fast. So we'll do one more. Here. It fell on the floor. So of course the pink one came off easily because it's almost the same color as your skin. The red one is still stuck in those corners. I'm doing a second round. What's that? Is that a beauty mark? Oh. Okay. And then this one is really bad. That has a lot of crevices, I guess. Wow. It's really hard to get this out. So I'm definitely not keeping the Bordeaux. Okay. So now it looks like that. Nothing on my nails. Everything is completely gone now, including the clear. That red is difficult. So now we're going to open up the perfect pink gel coat. And let's see if it's just like TV or not. 
Okay, we're gonna put it on these fingers. It's okay. So these three have it and this one doesn't. It's pretty. It's a pretty pink. That's my natural nail. That's my natural nail. Right? These are my natural nails and this is what it looks like with the pink. So a lot of people like this. If, if you're like me and you don't wear nail polish often, but you still want to look clean and polished, they, they recommend using this because it brightens up your nails and it just makes it pop. Now let's put the clear coat on top and see how shiny that clear. So I'm keeping this one. I'm giving away the red and the pink as a, as a set. So if anybody wants it, just put in the description, perfect formula nails. And I'll know that you want it and then I'll put you in for the running. I'm also, uh, let me show you what else I'm giving away. Hold on. So this is the clear top coat. I mean, supposedly you don't need a top coat with, this is thick. It like deformed my nail. I don't know how or why, but it did. You'll see. So that's a top coat. Uh oh, well, Is it shiny? Yeah, it's shinier with the top coat for sure. So I'll try it with my other colors when you want to shine. I like matte. I really like the matte colors more than I like the shiny colors. I only like shiny when it's clear or it's a French manicure. But again, that's just personal preference. And mind you, this is my nails. I had to cut them and file them because these two broke on both hands. You can see how, how much shorter they are than the rest of them. So I had to cut all of them. They were really long. They were beautiful. But when that happens, I cut them off. I do the fake nails and then I take it from there. So I'm going to take these off because I'm going to go do the fake nails now. And it's the best time to do it is after you dehydrate your nails with acetone. Uh, because then the glue sticks better. This is my uh, honest review. You guys have seen me do it in real life in front of you. Um, it's nice. I bought it for the pink nail thing because I think it's like $25 or $30 for just the one. So for just this one, it's $25 to $30. And when I was looking online, because you know I buy everything on eBay, right? <laughs> I find out what I like and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to get it for cheaper on eBay. Two of these was 30 something dollars, two of them. But then I was like, you get four, no, you get six for the same 30 something dollars. So I'll just get this. I'll try the top coat. Don't really care for top coat to be quite honest. Um, and then I'll see if I like the other colors. I like two of the other colors. So I technically got four items that I like for $30, which I think is okay. The perfect pink I think is going to work well for me because you guys know I work with my hands until all of my other things actually start making me money where I don't have to do manual labor like mounting TVs, putting up shelves, building Ikea furniture. You know what I mean? Like I don't mind because I'm doing it for social influencers and celebrities. So it's kind of pretty cool, you know, but I'd rather use, utilize my brain <laughs> with my books and my documentary and all of the creative juices that I have, you know? So when that actually pops off, um, then I will go, you know, my styling and my shopping and the ideas that I have. And like, imagine I come out with my own clothing line one day that actually does, has everything that I talk about on this channel, <gasps> right? <laughs> if I had nail polish, it would only be three colors. It would be gray that this color, because I feel like this color looks good on everybody. Gray, this color, probably in white. I think that's it. I wouldn't do a red. There's so many reds out there. I would just do like a gray kind of taupe, even a taupe color, maybe mauve, like a, yeah, this mauve, a gray, maybe this color. No, I would do more of a taupe than this color, but yeah. And that would be it. Like I, I, I have a vision. 
I'm not trying to be the best at everything. I'm trying to be good at the few things that I'm good at. And that's the key. Anyways, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. Um, I like four of these. Two of these I'm giving away. As you know, it's going to be this one and the pink one. The pink one could be good for um, French manicures. Let me try it on another finger. I just didn't like the way it looked on my fingers. No. It just looks weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. So on me, again, this is all about me and my preference. These two. If anybody wants them, if anybody's like, oh, I could work with that, or I love those colors, or I like the fact that they're sheer. I'm not trying to, you know, get excited. And if you build up the Bordeaux, you actually get the color that's on there. Obviously, you have to do a few coats. But I like the other ones because it's like one and you're done. Put the one coat on, put the top coat on, and you're done. I don't like, you know putting a lot of stuff on my nails. You, you'll get to know me on this channel. I am very vocal. Um, so, so funny. So these, this is what I'm keeping. And this is what I'm giving away. You guys let me know if you're in or you're out. You want it or you don't. You have to be subscribed. And then tell me in the comment section that you want it. And then the next tier that we get to, you know, because it's every 50 subscribers I do a giveaway, then I will start giving stuff away. Just so you know, at 1500 I'm giving away a coach handbag. It is a vintage coach handbag from my personal collection. Let me take the nail polish off because I don't want to ruin this leather. The last thing I need is to get nail polish on a freaking coach bag. Oh my God, no. Okay, okay, here we go. It's this one. Ta-da! Yummy. You could use it as a crossbody or a shoulder strap. It is a uh, shoulder, yeah, shoulder bag. It is adjustable. I've had this forever. It is that yummy, delicious vintage coach. And the cool thing is you wear it like this and then you can keep your phone and your keys in here and nobody will ever know. It's like just against your body. Or if you're, if you're skeptical, because there's a lot of skeptical people out there and you don't want the foam that close to like your ovaries or your, your hips because there are people like that, you can put it in here because guess what? It's full grain leather. The whole thing is one piece of leather when leather was actually leather and leather was thick before we started mass producing cows, right? This one gorgeous, yummy piece of leather. That's thick. Look at how thick that is. That is thick. Look at that. Look at how thick that is. That is thick, <laughs> right? So you have this and this. So it's suede on the inside. It's so delicious. This is my definition of luxury, like a bag that has quality materials, with amazing detailing. I mean, it's yummy. This is over 30 years old, you guys, and it still looks good. All you have to do is condition it. And if it's aniline dyed, so it's all the way through. So even if you have like a little light scratch like that, you still see black. You're not going to see like with some of these new leather bags, white, because they whitewash it. They dye it white. Then they color it to get these cool, funky colors and the metallics. And then when you scratch it, you see the white. No. Or you see like the tan, if it was like a light tan or a camel color. No, this is going to be black. Anywhere you scratch it, look. It went through. The dye went through. It's on the inside and the outside. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful. This is when, when I grew up. So if you guys want this, I'm giving this away at 1,500 subscribers. So when we get to 1,500 subscribers, someone's going to win this amazing bag. Get excited. Um, and then in between it's other stuff. It's like perfume. I think at 2000, I'm giving away a Kayali vanilla 28 perfume. It was sprayed six times for me to try it. And then at, there's a lot of different ones. Um, randomly, I'm just going to give away one of these little AirPod holders. So if anybody likes it and anybody wants it, you can say you want the AirPod holder. Um, and then I just found that you know, like that's, Somebody sent it to me. Um, and then we have random things like this initial necklace in the color in the letter A. Supposedly it's gold plated, but me and my sister can't wear costume jewelry because our skin turns green. So we didn't try it. We just can't wear, like we, we, we'd rather not wear anything if it's not, you know. Um, I will wear certain costume jewelry like the Hermes earrings, the Chanel earrings, stuff like that. But it's temporary. You put it on, you take it off. 
it's not like I'm leaving it on like these I could leave on every day for a year they're not gonna come off because it's 14 karat gold so like things like that you'll see on my channel you'll know um, and then we're gonna be giving away a bunch of like fake nails that we got from Timu so if anybody wants those they only come with those little tabs oh I'm gonna sneeze I think it does it come with the glue <coughs> sorry uh, I think it just comes with those little tabs not the glue that always happens it's because of the acetone and so I'm giving this set, I think there's one more. So three sets of nails, but they all look like a French manicure pretty much. This one just has embellishments of pearls and a little, a little bow. So this is one giveaway also. So if you want the French manicure fake nails, you can say that. Um, and then it just whatever pops up, like whatever comes into my life. I have tons of bags that I'm going to be giving away, but I try to do that every thousand subscribers. I give away like a really nice bag and then a couple of like cheaper ones like inexpensive ones that I got from like Timu or just from my clients. Um, I do sell stuff on eBay. So if you guys are interested, check it out. I know my client just gave me an Yves Saint Laurent bag. That's probably going to go very quickly. Um, but I do get a lot of things from my clients that want me to sell stuff for them on eBay. So that is up there. If you guys want to check it out, at least you know it's coming from me. And you can always just comment and talk to me about the product if you want. <laughs> All right. Bye.